you, you were trouble when you walked in. <laughs> Shake it off. Shake it uh, off. Sorry. I actually forgotten the words now. He is a real jiu-jitsu. I don't even watch no gi footage. It's just, it's just not real. When the spotlight hits you, oh no, no, no. Thank you for tuning in again for another Yo BJJ podcast, otherwise known as Youth of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, a platform where we want to inspire the youth, target all the teens, kids out there having fun and staying positive and staying productive uh, during this time. And today we're here. I'm so excited for our special guest today. He's an internet sensation. You know, he's shocked the world in competition. He's shocked in the world with his knowledge that he has. It is Varun Marotra. How are you, Varun? Going good, going good. Just chilling. Okay, so my name is Varun. Um, I am a blue belt that talks a lot of shit on the internet. I do not do much of my time. I eat ice cream. And um, yeah, that's about it. I haven't got much TV. <laughs> when did you first come to love ice cream? Uh, we all know that it's since birth. As soon as you try yeah, it, right. it's, automatic. it's not, it's not a, it's not optional to not like ice cream. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to dig into today, because you know you, you've been known to express yourself online and the internet, and you know, <laughs> I like the word expressed. Um, I wanted to go through some of the the tea slash beef uh, that you've uh, encountered. So, what what's the go there? Oh my god, uh, it isn't it isn't even beef. It's just me just having fun and just I like tormenting people a lot. I just like trolling people. It's fun getting a reaction. You know, as youth, prevalent, right, that we're on this social media platform. So how have you uh, personally grown your following? I talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> so much else to it. Like, just like those, just bolo chains and things like that. Just like cool moves in a sense. It's like, it's, it's really not that hard. Like, you just gotta, just require some consistency. Just be a character. That's the only advice. I saw Conor McGregor, bro, and I was like, okay, he fuck, he's making money. I can do this too as well. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't like so much like a scientific kind of decision. It was just like, oh, okay, that looks nice. I should do that. That you have like an interest in uh, Taylor Swift music. Uh, what's, oh yeah, what's <laughs> a lot? What's your uh, favorite song from her? It has to be. Oh, yeah. this is a hard question. <laughs> this is like the ice cream one all over again. Yeah. All of her songs are good. It, ha it has to be um that song "Dress." It's it's a song I listened to you before comp. Uh huh. Love yeah, it. I put that song on for like repeat for like four hours. It yeah. like gets me back. <laughs> Not even on this one. How have you developed the knowledge that you have now? Uh, honestly, it's like training with the guys that I do right now. Like training with uh with Levi Marullo. They like they kind of gave me like the framework to understand jujitsu. And then like I just kind of like I just like it comes from them like like it's just i just learn from my coaches and that's it like it isn't like i did, i'm just doing like a worse version of what they're doing but training with those you know big names in the art murillo levi uh how have they influence you as a person and in your game they made me like well, levi basically gave me my whole game like he just kind of like i just ask him for every like counter to every reaction but um like, Marullo helped me a lot with, like, my mental toughness in New York. Like, he, like, he made me push through a lot of pain. Like, especially, like, um, and, like, um, he just kind of developed it. And he's, like, you can't, you can't not train because you're, like, sore, fatigued. You just got to push through it. The only time you should, and just, like, just not making any excuses for yourself to, like, miss training or to, like, be lazy in training. And to, like, just, uh, just go, go for your goals and not, like, yeah, just going for your goals mostly, and just like he just shows you the kind of way to get there, mm -hmm. and kind of like uh, with Levi, like he just gave me my game as I said before, and like he kind of like made me, he kind of made me understand what like how to like operate well in competition, how to like see things in competition better compared to most people. It's always different for each person, but what has been your uh, greatest source of motivation to you know keep pursuing your dreams? Uh, I just like winning. It's mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> it get it gets like as like this is more rewarding winning the bigger tournaments. That's all it is. Recent experience that you competed internationally, uh, the European Championships. Yeah, it's a good one. That like taught me a lot about myself and like um about my jiu jitsu mostly. Like um, 
one of the things I like it's kind of it was like good because it showed me that like all my problems weren't necessarily in jiu-jitsu but outside like off the mat like it kind of just like came down to me like losing my focus and like doing my weight cut wrong and being paranoid about the weight cut so then I just had to fix that up and like I reckon I was best technically in the division like there wasn't really like I reckon if that was like in the space where I, where I like didn't cut weight stupidly that would have like cleaned out the whole division mm-hmm. like but uh Unfortunately, I made that mistake, and then uh, it cost me. Been a major influence in your journey. You started, and then until now. Uh, like it was my first coach originally. Like um, he did like he did push me a little bit in the beginning. Like um, I was good, and then uh, it was also like my parents just kind of helped me along with it. Like they didn't, my parents didn't necessarily force me into anything, but they were like they were really encouraging. I was like, this is what you want to do. We're gonna help you. Um, uh, I, I had a bunch of friends that were, like pushing me. Like, even, like, doing the comps and speaking to other kids, that kind of, like, it, it kind of, like, I was seeing, like, everyone else was working pretty hard, so I was, like, I was staying on that same path as well. If you haven't followed Ruin, uh, make sure that you follow him. Each podcast, we're going to post a question poll, and then you guys can leave some questions, and then we're going to be answering it through the podcast. Seventy seven. Uh, he said, who do you think out of the Danaher death squad would best translate to Gi? And he said, yes, your Reddit trolling is G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Honestly, like, 18-year-old Nikki, I think I think he could translate the best over. B. Joe, DJ, uh, it's the best open guard DVD. There's a lot of good ones. A good video on by Tomoyuki on guard retention on YouTube. That's a good one to watch. I like the Lepre sit up guard one. Uh, and I also liked um, the Mikey, the Mikey guard retention one. Mark Wilson, uh, what do you think the next area of great innovation in the sport will be? Next area, I think it's going to be passing without giving any guards. Mm-hmm. I think like a lot of guys, like you see them like stepping into Delhi or stepping into Lasso, and like they're kind of giving guards a little too easily. But you're getting guys like Paulo, uh, like Paulo Miyahi, like. You don't really give any guards, and they're just passing straight away, and it makes the movement a lot more fluid. So that's what I think it's going to kind of pop into the scene. And you're also seeing it with Mikey. Um, Mikey doesn't really pass guard at all, but um, he never really gives a guard. And, like, that's a really valuable skill. And so much value from the podcast today. Ines, uh, common mistakes people make when trying to bolo? I see it a lot. People get too concerned with, like, creating a very long chain. Like on like a crab ride or bolo chain, you just got to kind of like just try and get it like the first time. You don't have to do like a massive chain. Like if it's only like one or two movements you have to do, then do those one or two movements. I remember earlier on, I got kind of fixated on like doing mad long crab ride chains, but then I realized you only have to do like way less. It's way easier that way as well. Very popular, Johnny Bone seventy seven. <laughs> He's asking who bolos you uh, most aside from Levi. Mate Lucas. No, 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 not Lucas. Ari. Ari. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, he bullies me. It's actually kind of painful all the time. Tom Story underscore. Uh, do you have any recommended strength training to complement uh, BJJ? My recommended strength training is moving your fingers on the keyboard because I do not know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just planning to win Black Belt Worlds and then, like, you know, just take super fights. I don't really just not make weight anymore i'll just fight or whatever <laughs> enjoy it have fun with it mikey Muzumechi, you know he's a big uh role model for you know, the, the smaller guys in jiu-jitsu yes and um you know, he's he's made a statement in competing the open weight so i just wanted to hear uh some of your thoughts about that and the message he's sending through to us I think he's on uh he's on like a death wish at the moment. I think he's gonna <laughs> he's definitely on his way to get injured. He's really good he's really good at jiu-jitsu, but he's also gonna get injured. <laughs> People have heard like a lot of like kind of like inspiration kind of advice, but like on the show, I feel like I wanna put in something like technical rather like just uh like in terms of like developing your jiu-jitsu, just focus on like your guard retention a lot, focus on keeping your knees to your chest. Um I know this is a fucking weird one, but just like, yeah, just keep like, focus on your guard retention a lot and focus on like developing counters to every reaction that you encounter. So that's like, that should be your biggest focus. It shouldn't be like, yeah, but don't, you don't necessarily have to focus on like the fundamentals per se. 
um, you can just like just do it, do what you like in jujitsu, but just as long as you have a counter to everything that someone throws to you, then you should be fine. Now having your presence here in the podcast, thank you so much for your time. So Thanks. grateful for it. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> make sure you check out all of the social media platforms. I will leave that in the link down below for Varun. Make sure you follow him, making a big name in the world right now. And guys, uh, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, next following podcast, make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe and subscribe to Varun's YouTube channel as well, posting the breakdowns. Awesome. <laughs> keep smiling, keep grinding, guys. See you next time. <laughs>